Wouldn't it be great to have a tool to help you consistently make good decisions for the health of the planet and society? What would that tool look like? Does it appear automatically, or is it something you need to create yourself? What does it take to have a sustainability lens to guide decisions and actions? Let's take a look. When a friend tells you that they're taking good care of themselves, you immediately have images popping in your head. Eating healthy food, sleeping well, exercising, etc. Now when your boss approaches you on a Monday morning and says, we need to be looking after the triple bottom line of this organization, what images come to mind? Do you have a sustainability lens that frames your thinking and action as automatically as the healthy living lens? You might think of system level scientific sustainability principles, or maybe three circles representing social, economic, and environmental considerations. If you're in the business world, terms like corporate social responsibility, or CSR, environmental reporting, or lean in green might also come to mind. While these thoughts demonstrate an understanding of what is being asked of you, they don't necessarily provide a sustainability instruction manual for what to do on Monday morning. So what does applying a sustainability lens look like? Here are a few examples. An event planner needs to buy t-shirts for delegates attending a large conference. By applying a sustainability lens, he chooses t-shirts that are made with the least negative environmental impact and offer the most positive social impact throughout their supply chain. A chef chooses mostly locally sourced foods for her restaurant's menu. Using a sustainability lens, the chef is playing a role in creating economic resilience and a thriving community. An entrepreneur wants to deliver the best salon and spa services to her clients while ensuring that the natural environment and the well-being of others are not put at risk. The entrepreneur's sustainability lens helps her to set up and operate her profitable spa as a B Corp with inspiration from sustainably minded organizations such as Green Circle Salons. A student is struck by seeing recycling bins and garbage cans on campus overflowing with empty used coffee cups. By applying his sustainability lens, he commits to practicing the first R of reduce, reuse, recycle. This simple but meaningful action also motivates many of his classmates, family and friends to do the same. But does applying a sustainability lens come at a cost? Are the efforts worth it? Many people find that decision making and actions using a sustainability lens can often deliver surprising benefits due to relationships within systems and synergies. For example, through strategic placement of limestone and green building design, stormwater running from a building site in Sudbury, Ontario into a nearby lake was reduced from a harmful acidic pH level of 5.60 to a beneficial and mildly alkaline pH of 7.96, an important step toward regenerating the local ecosystem. In addition to reducing harmful greenhouse gas emissions, active transportation for daily commutes and errands can offer personal health benefits. Within a business context, these benefits are sometimes positioned to support the business case for sustainability, a means of assessing both risk and value of pursuing initiatives that represent a new way of solving business problems. According to research and business sustainability guru Bob Willard, businesses that integrate sustainability practices into their corporate DNA can generate 51% to 81% more profit. In a nutshell, Using a sustainability lens is a process to position decision-making for long-term success by maximizing positive environmental and social outcomes while working within economic realities. And with a bit of practice, these actions become automatic, evolving into sustainability thinking. Your sustainability lens, a good tool to carry with you and apply on a daily basis, Monday mornings and every other day of the week. <laughs>